Hi everyone, this is Megan with the Shop Designs. We sell design templates and actions for both Photoshop Elements users and Photoshop CS users. And today I'm going to show you how to install an action set in Photoshop CS. So basically um, what happens when you purchase an action set from our site is you're going to download the file. Um, after you purchase it, you will get a download link. You click on that. And I'm on a Mac, and um, I have my downloads set up to go into my downloads folder. Um, so you're going to get this folder, um, and inside it's going to be a zipped folder. And whether or not your settings are set to automatically unzip folders um, it will depend on whether or not you're going to see something like this or something like this. So I have this folder here, and inside it it says the Nostalgia, nostalgia Action Set. And inside that you have your nostalgia.atn file, that is the action file, and then you have an instructions uh, text file. And so basically you're just going to take just this nostalgia.atn file, you're going to hold down your alt key because that way you're copying it instead of dragging it and taking it out of there. And you're dragging it over here. Um, and this folder, so you can see my path, I'm in applications. Adobe Photoshop, Presets, Actions, and I'm going to drop it right in there. I already had it in there, so I'm just going to replace it. Um, but if you see my path here. We're in Applications, Photoshop CS4, that's the version that I'm running, and Presets. And this is where you have all of your things such as brushes, um, custom shapes, actions. Um, but since we're installing Actions today, I'm going to click on that. And so this is where you're going to have all of your .atn action files. So once you've done that, um, notice it's still over here. And uh, you'll want to save this and back it up somewhere so that in case you lose this, you still have this backed up, usually on an external drive or something like that. So now I'm going to go into Photoshop. And I'm going to go to my Actions palette here. And if that does not show up, what you need to do is go to Window, Actions. And a little check mark will show up, and you will have your actions palette over here. So now I need to get my nostalgia actions into my palette here so that I can use them. So I'm going to click on this little thing right here, this little arrow, and I'm going to go to load actions. And once I do that, then um, my search window is going to come up, and I'm going to go navigate to the uh, folder that I just dropped them in. So um, we're going to go to the same place again we were just at, which is Applications. And we're going to Photoshop CS4, Presets, Actions. And we're going to select that Nostalgia file that I just put in here. So Nostalgia.atn, and you click Load. So it has loaded this entire set of actions here. Um, and now everything is good to go for you to start playing with them. Um, you can open up an image and you can basically hit play um, and it's going to play the action on your image and you'll see it in your layers palette here and then you'll be able to alter the opacity and mix and match them as you like. We have another tutorial that shows some more about that so check that one out and visit us at theshopdesigns.com for some um, more of our action sets.